What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Professor Anime coming back at you with another video. And in this video guys, I'm here to bring you all my review of Haikyuu Season 2, Episode 21. So let's get this started. So when you really think about this episode, this episode really didn't have much in it. It was still entertaining nonetheless, but what I'm saying is we really didn't get a whole lot in this episode because the real main focus of this episode was Mad Dog. I mean, we see that the match between Kurosano and Seijo is still going on, and they are, you know, pretty much giving it their all. They're pretty much neck and neck with one another, but that is until Seijo brings out their new player, the Mad Dog. And that is when uh, we see in this episode that Kurosano is actually having a lot of problems facing this new player that they are completely unfamiliar with on Seijo's team. However, this uh, specific individual, the Mad Dog, can be a double-edged sword to being on the court. I mean, sometimes he is good and sometimes he is bad because he ends up missing the ball and ends up costing a point for uh, the Joe size team. But what's really, you know, devastating about the mad dog is that while, you know, he can be bad at times, once the game starts to, you know, get riled up and everything starts to get really heated, that is when the Mad Dog's true colors shine, and that is when it is very dangerous and nearly impossible to try to defeat him, you know, and that's what Krosno is having a problem with, you know, he is a new player that they are completely unaware of, and they don't know what exactly is going to happen with this new player because especially we have it to where Oikawa is technically using the mad dog to their advantage and using his uh, using him as a decoy at times so yeah at this point Kurosano is just having a bunch of trouble trying to get rid of the mad dog so they need to end up coming up with some sort of strategy in order to take out the mad dog because once they do that then the Obojosai team will end up falling to the ground and then the win will be for Karasuno because like I said, the new player on Seijo's team, the Mad Dog, is a double-edged sword. They uh, can either win this with the Mad Dog or completely lose with the Mad Dog. And a lot of tactics was actually involved in uh, this uh, strategy of playing in this episode of Haikyuu, which I really enjoyed. It was so cool seeing how they tried to think of certain things on how exactly they can try to one-up one another and Oikawa using the Mad Dog to their advantages kind of like using a little bit of psychology throwing Hinata off of um, you know who, who exactly is going to end up hitting the ball like that was cool right there I really enjoyed that in the episode Okay, but yo, I had to talk about this. I had to talk about this. That Yamaguchi moment though. That Yamaguchi moment. Oh man, dude, when I saw that, like, when, when, as soon as I saw Coach Yukai, like, go like, I already, I already know, you don't have to tell me, and then he gives that look over, I'm like, no way, is he talking about Yamaguchi, and then you see Yamaguchi just stand up, and he shows, like, a very determined face, and he's like, I'm ready, it's time for my redemption, I'm gonna show what I'm truly made of, dude, yes. Yes, I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. <laughs> like, someone let me know in the comments down below and like a couple of uh, reviews ago of my Haikyuu reviews and, and said that, just you wait, Yamaguchi will get his spotlight. And I was like, really? Really? I'm hoping, I'm hoping that in this episode we get to see that, you know, in the next episode, we're, we're eventually going to see Yamaguchi's uh, triumphant return. <laughs> like his well-deserved character development, you know? I mean, because Yamaguchi has been training on the sidelines, but we never actually got to see anything from him other than him failing at a serve. So, I really hope in the next episode, that episode is going to be what is going to end up bringing down the Mad Dog. Because if you really think about it, the, the rest of the Kurosano players, the starters, they are very well-known players. Okay, and then we have Obajosai. They are very well-known players, and they are very good players at that. However, Krasno is up against a player called the Mad Dog, and they are completely unfamiliar with his playing style. Now, what what if like when Yamaguchi goes in, that is going to end up throwing off uh, Obajosai? 
that is going to end up th throwing off Oba Josai because they are completely unfamiliar with Yamaguchi's uh, playing style because he's barely on the court half the time, you know? And, oh man, like, Yamaguchi's gonna be the one who is going to make the game. He's going to be the the, the hero of this game. I mean, I know Kurosano is going to end up winning, but dude, oh my god, I'm having a Yamaguchi moment right now because Yamaguchi, he's like the most underrated character in Haikyuu, but at the same time, he is so badass. Like, oh man. So yeah, it looks like in the next episode of Haikyuu, uh, it could actually be the ending to this match of Haikyuu uh, against Kurosano and Seijo, and then there are going to be a few other episodes, but from what I heard in my last review is that there is still one more match that uh, Hinata and everybody else on Kurosano needs to go up against. And I didn't get spoiled on who it was, but I have a feeling it might be Nekoma. Because in the beginning of Haikyuu, technically Nekoma was the very first opponent that Kurosano ended up face, uh, facing. So, yeah, I think that is going to be the next match, and that is going to be pretty exciting to see. That about does it for this video, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below on what you thought about this episode of Haikyuu. And what did you think about that Yamaguchi moment? Let me know as well. And as well, if you like this video, please give it a like, and I would greatly appreciate that. And if you would like to uh, stay updated to my future content on this channel, possibly hit that red subscribe button below, and you'll never miss a video from me. That about does it for this video, guys. Love you all, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Have a great day.